Many traders are confused and really wonder why certain supply and demand zones uh, don't work. And, um, you know, the short answer really is, is that uh, fundamental analysis is really what drives price. And if you're on the wrong side of the fundamentals, then there's no technical analysis that's really going to stand in the way of that. You're just going to get crushed time and time again. And so technical traders who typically just trade, you know, highs and lows, um, are totally oblivious to the forces and entities that are really driving price. And so when price came up to this supply zone, which looked like a really nice supply zone, we're making, you know, new highs, for example, here, we've pulled back a little bit to a demand zone, and we've come up here, traders would say, oh, all right, well, uh, I missed out on this demand zone, so now it's just trying to time to, you know, attempt to get short. But they would have been, first of all, trading in the, really the wrong direction direction overall in terms of understanding why the Australian dollar was likely to appreciate against the, uh, the Swiss franc uh, over the medium to long term. Uh, one of the things that we knew um, in the Trading 180 group, this is our Australia fundamental analysis channel, is that uh, according to the experts and uh, the analysts and uh, just our own fundamental analysis is that the Australian dollar really uh, was a, a buy for several reasons. Uh, the main one really being China reopening and risk there being a bit more risk on and you can have a read if you want to pause the video have a read of the uh, the analysis for example and as well as uh, this as well talking about the, um, the Australian dollar um, uh, China's reopening, uh, demand-driven improvement, etc., etc. Right. So uh, we were we've been we've been buyers of the of the um, of the Australian dollar uh, since uh, the beginning of the year. Some of the traders have actually been buyers of the Australian dollars uh, before, um, actually last year. But I kind of recently got on got involved at the beginning of the year, maybe around about the uh, fifth, sixth, seventh, somewhere around here. I was uh, changing my bias to go long. Anyways, um, so. Where we're at now is that traders would be looking at short trades, and um, so they'd be, you know, looking to to go in uh, short, not really understanding that, um, in fact, the Australian dollar was a buy, even more so because on that day, the twenty, I think it was twenty fifth January the twenty fifth, um, the uh, this is an article from the twenty fifth of January twenty twenty three, inflation. Uh, rise means more rate hikes for the Reserve Bank of Australia. And so um, Forex is really, and exchange rates are really driven um, by uh, three main things, which is mon central bank monetary policy, which is dictated to them really by uh, inflation and uh, GDP, as well as obviously some sort of risk sentiment. So um, ultimately, um, inflation data came out I think it was the, the highest since I think the 90s or something like that and so what you saw is the effect of higher inflation means higher um, uh, high, uh, rate in hikes which is typically appreciative of a currency and so you get this move you know to to the upside a continued move to the upside hence the reason why this level of supply didn't work and uh, why demand zones are more likely to work in um, in this scenario and waiting for pullbacks than supply zones are to work and if you're trading against the fundamentals and you don't understand why then you're you know, always going to get crushed and, uh, you know, wonder why the technical strategy doesn't work and bounce from strategy to strategy when really and truly it's your, um, I guess, the, the, the lack of understanding of how fundamentals actually work. And as I said, there's no technical analysis level that's going to work in the face of fundamental or risk sentiment analysis. What you want to do is trade alongside uh, the banks who are the ones that are really buying and understand the fundamentals and they... Uh, and whereas the uh, social media YouTubers, the majority of them anyway, um, are just, uh, you know, buying and selling at, you know, random levels, not understanding really, you know, the uh, where the smart money is uh, positioning. So uh, if you do want to learn a lot more about fundamental analysis, go to the uh, trading180.com uh, website. And really, it's the serious um uh, package uh, for serious traders um, and um, yeah you also get the fundamental analysis spreadsheet which I um, 
show traders how to use and also you can see my bias has been uh, on the long side and uh, this basically just keeps traders hopefully on the right side more often than not anyways guys hope you uh, enjoyed the video if you've got any feedback let me know uh, take care and speak to you all soon